Hey guys, it's Joanne from 15 Spatulas. Today we're going to make a caramel apple rose tart. I love making this when friends come over because it's such a showstopper and it's actually very easy to make. The roses take a little bit of time to put together, but it's not actually difficult to do. The tart has a press and crust. There's no rolling and no chilling required. And it has thin slices of apple rolled into roses. And it's all doused in a caramel sauce because caramel and apples just go so well together. Let me show you how to make it. For the crust, add a quarter cup of sugar to one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour, then add a quarter teaspoon of salt and stir that all together with a spatula or a whisk. Add 12 tablespoons or one and a half sticks of melted butter, then stir this all around until the flour is moistened and the dough is crumbly. Dump this into an 11 inch tart pan with a removable bottom. You can also use a nine or 10 inch instead if that's what you have and press the dough evenly with your fingers, eventually pushing the dough up the sides of the pan. And keep in mind, the dough will look very thin at this point. It will puff up a little bit as it bakes, but it's meant to be a thinner and more delicate pastry. Bake at 350 Fahrenheit for 20 minutes until it's golden brown on the edges and no longer raw. For the apple roses, start by cutting your apple in half. I'm using Gala, but this will work for most apple types. Then remove the seeds with a melon baller or you could use an apple core. And I don't peel the apples because I think it looks better, but if you want to peel the apples, you can. Then I like to use a mandolin to slice the apples. That way they're all the same size and I think it's a little bit faster, but you can just use a knife and cut it as thinly and evenly as you can. As you cut the apples, place them in water with a little lemon added to it so they don't brown while you finish prepping the other apples. When you're finished making the apple slices, drain the lemon water from the apple bowl and add enough boiling water to cover the apples. Let this sit for 10 minutes and this will cook the apple slices very gently. After 10 minutes, the apples should be very flexible and this tells us that they are able to be shaped. Go back to your tart crust and add enough caramel sauce to coat the bottom of the tart. This will help hold the roses in place as you build the tart. And I'm using the exact same caramel sauce as the one in my homemade caramel sauce video on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description box. But if you'd rather buy caramel sauce instead, you need about one cup total for this recipe. To help hold the roses as I build them, I like to use a mini muffin tin. You can either take the apple slices and wrap them up yourself one layer at a time and stick that into the muffin tin, or you can lay apple slices directly into the muffin tin, starting with the outside and working your way in. I personally think the latter is a little bit easier, but they both work. When you've got a full batch of roses, lay them into your caramel crust and try to add them in a way where they're supported by each other, that way they don't fall apart. Just focus on getting them into the tart shell first. You can shift them around a little bit after you've gotten it mostly filled. And then you can adjust the apple roses as needed so they look as even as possible. And you can take more apple slices and insert them into the tart to add bulk where it's needed. Once the roses are arranged nicely, you're going to add the remaining three quarters of a cup of caramel sauce to the tart. You can drop some into the actual roses. You can drizzle it over the top. You really want to be generous with the caramel here. It will look like it's a lot and really pool all over the tart right now, but when it comes out of the oven, most of it will have distributed. Bake this in a 350 Fahrenheit oven for about 35 to 40 minutes, then let the tart cool and it can be plated and cut into slices. I've got my caramel apple tart with a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top. This is such a great tart to serve a la mode. Let's give us a taste. Mmm. Amazing. Beyond the fact that it looks beautiful, I love the texture of those thin slices of apple stacked up on top of each other. It's so lovely. The crust has a really nice shortbread-esque like texture to it. It's really delicate and kind of fits with the whole nature of this tart. And the caramel adds such a nice buttery, creamy sweetness to the apples while also holding everything together. This is so perfect. This is one of my favorite desserts and I do hope that you give it a try. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make this recipe. And if you did, let me know with a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you can see more recipes like this one in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.